and luck. And this weekend, his sponsor, DuPont, put the 4H4 Clover on this race car. Our Fort Lee Clover on the back of your car is going to push you to Victory Lane. I think it's perfect that we've got uh, 4H on board this weekend. We certainly appreciate their efforts in, in, in what they're doing uh, with 4H, what 4H is out there doing for science. New research is showing that children in 4-H programs perform better in science, engineering, and technology and are more likely to pursue scientific careers than those who don't take part in 4-H. More than 200 Adams Middle School students explored ethanol and biofuels today. This year's focus is on something that we all need, alternative energy sources. Oftentimes we think of 4-H as being livestock and consumer science, but there's a lot of technology and science that is 4-H. Students all across the country are performing the same experiment to see just how it works. With a little sugar, water, yeast, and a balloon. University of Missouri Extension 4-H kids watch how yeast breaks down sugars, releasing carbon dioxide gas and ethanol, a biofuel. I think it's just cool because it relates 4-H um, to science and kids will be interested in learning about how our gas is made and the new inventions that we're coming up with through agriculture. The hundreds of kids and their parents are celebrating National 4-H Week tonight with science. Organizers want people to know that 4-H is for everybody these days. Today's experiment was all part of a 4-H science experiment biofuel blast. The kids had a first-hand experience of how ethanol is made by creating it themselves. 4-H is attacking one of the biggest problems in America, and that's our shortage of scientists. Competitively around the world, we lag. So 4-H today is having National Youth Science Day, where hundreds of thousands of young people across the country will be involved in a National Youth Science Day, which is called Biofuel Blast. I think that uh, we're well on the way to attracting one million scientists with one million new ideas to help this country be competitive in the world.